Hi. All right. So welcome to day 42, 43, 44. And okay, so this week, or the, the 40s are about being social. Now, when you are wrapped with symptoms, when you have, you know, all your symptom raging, one of the things your body wants to do is keep you safe. It wants to keep you small. It wants to keep you stuck. It wants to keep you safe. So even though focusing outward, being social, doing all these things is actually going to make you better in the long run, your body says no, it shuts it down, it creates more symptoms, it creates more everything, and it wants you to stay small. It wants you to stay safe so it can protect you. And it's only because this pattern is familiar, okay? It's continuing to go because it's familiar. Um, so what we want to do during these days is we want to practice engaging. So if you go to the grocery store and you can talk to anybody, do it. But Or if you're out at a, your kids' activities, say you're taking them there or you're going for a walk with your dog and you see someone and you can engage just a little bit, practice, practice, practice engaging, making eye contact, feeling like a real person, whether your symptoms are there or not, just expanding in spite of. But mostly, these next three days are, rather than distracting yourself with having a shower, or doing the dishes, or folding laundry, or running around uh, doing anything that you can besides engaging, I want you to take your excess energy. I know sometimes you feel like you're going to explode with the symptoms, but to focus. If you have a child at home, sit down, hold them in your arms look at them in the eyes, speak to them, stay there, stay connected. Same with a spouse or a close family member, anybody that you have around you, a dog, whatever, anybody, whenever you get the chance to connect over the next couple of days, rather than go on autopilot and just start doing things that are going to distract you from the symptoms and also break the connection with people in front of you, I want you to stop the pattern and to just engage regardless of the symptoms, regardless of how you feel, regardless of whether they, you think that people can see how you're acting, reacting, what's going on inside. Maybe they think you're crazy. Maybe they don't believe you. There's all kinds of guilt, shame, whatever the, the fact is. And just sit with those feelings. Let them go all over. Let them create symptoms. Let them rise up and know that you can connect anyway. So over the next three days, I want you to try, no matter where you are, whether it's with strangers, neighbors, people that you see out and about, I want you to try to connect in some way. But mostly I want you at home to connect with every single living thing around you at all times, rather than doing a distracting activity. Okay, so that is the goal. It's going to be hard. This is one of the hardest things, I think, that when we're sick, because we feel so transparent and we think people can see our thoughts and our insecurities and our anxieties and our pain and our helplessness and hopelessness. And we, we have so many negative feelings, but we need to sit with those because those are at the root of our illness. These are root causes, these emotional symptoms, these emotional barriers, these traumas that have happened to us. And they disconnect us from society, they disconnect us from the ones we love most, and they disconnect us from the world. And that's what we need to break. So over the next three days, engage, engage, engage with everybody around you and especially the ones that you love most.